Hi there everyone, this is your friend Jake Rodriguez Pampirada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this tutorial video guys, we will learn how to create a login system using Microsoft Visual Fox Pro 9. Before we continue, if you like this video tutorial, please hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. So let's get started. Right now we are running the form login in Visual Fox Pro. If we have wrong username and password, it will display this message on the screen incorrect username or password. Try again. Second time around, after three, uh, several attempts, three attempts, invalid username and password can we contact the programmer for assistance. So it will exit. So let us go back here to all the first thing that we will do is to create the table and then a database the database is security and then the table is login so if we browse the the table we have your several username password admin 123 jake jacob ia it is the same also in pass me underscore control w to save and then if we go to our form and then we modify we have here the design so we have here a label text box 1 text box 2 and password in the ok button the first command that will go is to go to form and then init so we have here the comment and then this form dot text 3 dot value equals 3 that it will, it will count 3 uh, tries no, for the correct username and password of our program so the object here is form 1 and then the procedure is init for initialize let's say control w to save let us go to ok again and then the uh, and then the command 1 object we have here the procedure click when the user click so we have here a series of commands so we have here for the dialog box and then we have to select the table so we are using the SQL statement to select the table that is logged in and then this portion of the code will check on how many times the user tries to log in username and password and then this portion of the code will check if the username forgot to write the username and password the same thing in text 1 and then te uh, text 2 here set focus so when we run our program control w to save then we try to run okay let's say for example we accidentally forgot to type the password so when we click ok cannot continue without the password see so another way around if we forgot to type the username and then we click the ok button cannot continue with uh, username but if we have the right username and password when we click ok okay, it's an uh, error but when we try with the right username and password it will display this main page will come to main page meaning the password uh, the username and password can be searched in our table in our database that is security see so in our login when we browse the record so we have here the several username and password so it can be located by our program okay so let us go back to our code so here this portion of the code we are searching for the username and password to our table in our database if found do form main page that's why it will display this uh, when we run okay it will display this page this one the main page if it is correct 
to the stop and then so here if it is the username and password is not correct so it will clear out and set focus and then close our program i will put a link on the description below of this tutorial so that you can download the complete source code for free so don't worry so when we run our program let's say ia click ok welcome to main page because the username when we browse the record ia can be found in our database login ia ia but if the password is not correct incorrect username and password try again second time around okay wrong and then the third time when we give another wrong username and password it will display this information after three attempts invalid username or password can contact the programmer for assistance so the other button is this uh, text box tree is for counter of counting how many times the user uh, give the username and password it is uh, on the properties it is being vis the visibility of this is hide or false as you can see here it is false because if you we make it true control s when we run our program it is visible so what i did here just change the visibility to false so when we run it cannot be seen now the last button is the cancel so the cancel is this form form to release it will release the form so when we run when we cancel click the cancel button it will exit so this is the end of our tutorial video i hope that you have learned on how to create a login system that is database driven in microsoft visual fox pro thank you very much for watching if you like this video tutorial please hit the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials this is your friend jake rodriguez pomperada from bacolod city negros occidental philippines until to the next video tutorials bye bye for now